Seward Fire and Rescue is urging local farmers and ranchers to be ready as drought conditions continue across the state. They say farmers are one of the most valuable assets when it comes to creating fire lines and saving Nebraska's land. Channel 8's Alexis Ganeski has the details in our top story tonight. Alexa? Yeah, that's right, Ron Megan. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, 99% of the state is under a drought with parts of Nebraska seeing extreme conditions. It's something Seward Fire and Rescue is watching very carefully and are even asking for a little help from the ag community. On days when Tyler Dickinson isn't battling fires in Seward, he spends his time out on the farm, so he knows firsthand how dry the fields really are, something that worries him. This is probably one of the driest years, I think, since 2012. It's a big concern because if you get a fire going and can't get it stopped, you're going to lose everything if it gets to your farm place and all your equipment. Um, will be gone and right now it's tough to get stuff and your whole operation stops once you lose all your equipment or your farm place and I mean on the cattle side you got all the cattle out on fields and if the fire gets going, you're going to lose all your cattle and have to try to rebuild your herd back up. Because of this, Seward Fire and Rescue is now urging local farmers and ranchers to be on standby with their equipment as the drought continues and is estimated to worsen. Their tractors and discs can make a fire line quickly to help slow down fires. I know quite a few guys that have their stuff ready to go that aren't afraid to just head out if they need to to protect their property or their neighbors and Farmers know their property better than anyone else. Plus, they usually have bigger equipment than the fire department does. Seward hopes they won't end up needing their help, but with these dry conditions, they're taking every precaution. If things just may keep getting drier and drier as time goes on, you know, what is what is your biggest concern moving forward? That we have no moisture in, in the foreseeable future. Uh, we are at a red flag warning today and projected to be in one tomorrow and maybe even three days from now. The Nebraska Department of Agriculture has even recently activated their hay hotline, which connects farmers with hay and those who can help through this intense drought. Rod, Megan.